Okay, so today marks the third year after my first surgery for this uh, cancer. Um, today's June the 4th. Uh, I know this because it's my ex fiance's birthday. Um, and also, well, I had surgery this day three years ago. Um, it was quite scary, it was quite um, concerning. I went into the hospital the one the day before. Um, was it the day before? Or a couple of days before. I went into hospital a couple of, yeah, it's a couple of days before. So a couple of days before I went into hospital and I met with a plastic surgeon and that plastic surgeon basically said, I must cut this out immediately in my, in my back. So he was like, I'll do it straight away. So I went and had this surgery and then thought nothing of it. Tried to heal up and like go back to work and everything like that. A couple of weeks later I got to see the uh, doctor um, and they sat me down and told me it was cancer. Now we had an inkling it would be cancer about six months before I had the surgery when I had a, an opinion of someone who had said they thought it looked like cancer which we went to the doctors we went and had tests done and everything checked and they said no it's shingles so I was treated for shingles for six months whilst this cancer grew in my back uh, for quite a hefty amount of time. So that, that happened, I had my surgery and then I uh, went back to work as I said and then a couple of months later I got sick again and like really sick um, and we couldn't fathom out why, we couldn't check, it. none of this cancer shows really properly on markers or anything like that it also doesn't really show on like scans until it's grown to a certain like point obviously um, so we we had no idea that the cancer was growing still or growing again uh, until we went back uh, a couple of months later and it had grown substantially um, very rapidly as well uh, and they cut it out again um, like literally a couple of months after the first surgery they cut it out again and then the following year uh, I had another surgery um, and a procedure and then during that year I had another procedure as well and then last year uh, 2017 I had three procedures done last year um, and then this year I've had two um, more, yeah, two more. So I've had a lot of surgery for this thing. Uh, the, the whole aim was to get clear margins or try and get clear margins. In hindsight, thinking about it, right, they never got clear margins in the first place. So doing all this surgery was pretty fucking pointless, in, in, all, in all honesty. And I know everyone thinks, oh yeah, we'll, we'll cut out until we can't cut no more. But the, the surgery hasn't helped. It clearly didn't help me. And then I've looked at the medical records of other people with this type of cancer, which I managed to get hold of by the grace of like, I don't know, some blooming lovely people in Canada, some lovely people in America, and some lovely people in Israel. And that looked at it. And all of the ones who have had surgery have died very quickly, rapidly after having surgery because of increased blood flow. So like, how did my doctors not know this? I don't know. But obviously this is something we now know. So it, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. So now I'm on chemo to try and control the whole thing um, and try and slow it down as much as we possibly can whilst we try and do some better research. So like by better research, I mean like looking into how these cells grow, how they work and how they interact with the body, how they interact with my body and the fatigue and the like the sickness and everything else that's going on with it and try and work out on a molecular level if possible how to solve this puzzle and I'm, I'm a puzzle solver I love solving puzzles I may look like a bit of a douchebag but I love solving puzzles and this is the biggest puzzle to me that I've ever faced <clears throat> and I just want to try and work it all out like and try and solve it not just for me but for others in the future and I know how I've survived so long, and I know what's kept me alive so long. 
and I know how I've worked really hard to stay alive and work really hard to kind of like keep healthy, stay active, even though I've got pleurisy and everything going on and the pain from that, pain is subjective in my mind. Pain is subjective in my head and I, I'm not going to be that subject. Pain is just another, another thing that I deal with every single day. And I'm very used to it, I have a very high pain tolerance and I'm very kind of, I don't know, I've dealt, I've dealt with this for so long through very painful surgeries, very painful like recoveries and very painful situations where the cancer's been in like nerves, where it's like kind of, it's like numbed my entire face like from like the cancer being in nerves and stuff. And I'll tell you what, the, the pain is not the concern for me anymore. The thing that's the concern for me now is the fact that I can still feel the cancer growing and I can see it growing and it's concerning. Whereas when I had surgery before, it was all cut out and I wouldn't see it happening. So it was kind of like to the back of my mind, a little bit, a little bit to the back of my mind. Now it's not at the back of my mind and it's kind of like really perplexing me um, and making me quite angry. Um, and I, I don't think I don't think that there's going to be any way that we can solve this in my lifetime. Not for me, anyway. Um, I've, I've, I've tried so hard, like, looked into everything I physically can, looked at everything I physically can do. And I, I don't think, I think I've lived on borrowed time for long enough. Um, and I think I'm living on borrowed time as it is. Um, so it's kind of getting to that point now where I need to find in my head this is just in my head and um, where I need to find a definitive way to solve this and that's how that's how I'm gonna progress through this whole thing this is like what I'm gonna do everything that I do from now on is like find a proper manner in which to fix this and if I do solve this I'll publicize it fully to everyone and I'll quite happily show everyone what my diet is and I'll show them what everything is that I do um, but I'm not going to advocate some of the stuff I do because one it's illegal two it's dangerous uh, some of the stuff I do to regulate pain would kill someone else so that's just stupid to tell anyone how I do it um, but yeah it's it's a, it's been a trial over the last three years and it's driven me absolutely delally um, but yeah Tomorrow I'll do a video if I can and I'll find out what my parents feel about it and see what my parents feel about this whole whole situation now because it has changed since the last time I spoke to them and I'll talk to them. But yeah, I'll see you later. Ta-ta. Bye-bye. Ta-ta. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye. Ta-ta. Bye-bye.